Good morning. <sighs> Do you understand that's that's my point? You wanna <sighs> We're having a discussion about whether Scott should email his brother or not when his brother is stubborn as heck. I'm right, and if I'm wrong, I'll kill you, and I'll still be right. Yeah. So, anyway. I want green beret. Actually, I want butter bites. Yeah, so, I don't know if you guys can see the tiny little specks. These are the cinnamon all spice butter bites I made for Scott. He says they're delicious. I can't have cinnamon because I get a face rash from it. It was a bummer because I really like cinnamon. However, I made myself some vanilla ones. So, we will make some coffee. I use three of these puppies. We got my Google's 2% iodine. One, two. Ooh. Got my pure vanilla extract. The reason I do iodine is our thyroid needs iodine to function. We get it, well, from fish, oysters, seafood kind of stuff. I don't eat a lot of seafood. Or if you do iodized salt, but we don't do iodized salt anymore. So, to have our thyroid function, you have to have iodine. Why we need iodine? I mean, it's a simple reason to get our thyroid function. Our thyroid is what metabolically can, it controls our metabolic function in our body. No iodine, you get goiters. They don't really exist. Well, not too often anymore. So anyways, that is why I use iodine. Big tip, half a cup before you burn this. If not, you'll get it everywhere. Ask me how I know. Pro tip, Scott taught me this. Hot water. Cleans that sucker right up. Okay, my morning breakfast. We got lots planned today. I've got quite a bit of research to do because, well, I'm trying to grow my channel. My goal is not only to lose weight for myself, I am close to 100 pounds probably next week, so whoop whoop to that. Um, I want to make huge changes. I don't want anyone else to suffer the terrible suffering it is to be obese, morbidly obese, the depression, the sickness that comes along with it. So my goal, I don't have a number amount, but I want to grow. I want to grow and reach more people and share my journey. I do not pretend to be a guru. I do not pretend to be a guru or have all the answers. But something I found in life is listening to other people's stories. We can see some of ourselves in there. And if that helps just a handful of people see things that they're doing differently, you look like a creepster over there, by the way. Scott's just in the corner, silently oh, rubbing. Coffee, you're in the way. Silently, you can come get coffee. Silently rubbing lotion on his hand, just like this, standing in the corner. <laughs> so, oh, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Anyways. Machiavellian. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I need to do some research on how to make my content more engaging and to reach other people because, you know, that's that's my why to help people and you can't help people if you're not reaching them so anyways so that's the plan i also have an old ipad that we're going to ship to one of my viewers she does not have anything to join us on discord and scott and i don't use it anymore it's older it works though so i was going to just ship it to her work a little bit more on my leather working and some other stuff today so right now my morning is now consisting of 
emails, doing a little bit of work stuff on the computer, doing a little YouTube-y stuff, nothing fancy, just computer work. Are going to the grocery store it is super windy and we are getting some gorgonzola cheese because well we didn't eat cheese for a while so we have a bad and some heavy cream to make a yummy gorgonzola sauce for dinner tonight if you go to the grocery store do not forget to check for the discount meat stuff we have found some really good prices on meat. Even though we do go to Costco, looking for the discount area because you can save lots of money for really good cuts doing it that way. For dinner tonight. Look what I found. Uh oh. I've never seen the other face rock. I am having my first meal for the day. It is a ribeye with butter. Delicious. And gorgonzola sauce. Yet I'm recording this and I forgot to put the sauce on. Good job, Amanda. I have convinced Scott to go doggy exercise with me. It is windy, windy. We get windstorms and I got the girls dressed up for nighttime walk. We got the rosy with the purple collar, although I think it looks blue. We got Sadie and we got the Annie, which gets her jacket cause it's real cold and she's a naked mole rat with only one layer of fur, which is very thin. Do I look nice? It's raining, but we're walking at the pond and it's really pretty. It rained on me. <laughs> Anyways, I want to show you my dog. Do you think she has enough pink on? <laughs> She's like, nah, take me for a walk. Hey guys, we are going to do a little tea and I'm putting my face stuff on for tonight. I figured we'd talk a little bit because it's been a busy day and I really haven't had a chance to sit and talk and have a little break. I have been thinking a lot on willpower lately about how I've gotten where I've gotten and why I have failed every other time. I think about this actually pretty often because I don't think there's just like one simple answer to this. I think it's a very complex, not issue, just it's a very complex answer. But I had a slight epiphany today. Um, I was thinking on it and I realized I can walk past cake, cookies, candy in the grocery store. And I honestly, I glance over it. I don't even look at it and think yum. I don't, it's just becomes like an inanimate object. I mean, well, it already is, but it just becomes part of the scenery. It doesn't actually matter to me. It's just there taking up some kind of space, but I don't think about it. And so I try to like think like, when did that happen? I don't know, sometime in the past, probably four to six months, I think I started to just be able to look past and not crave or think about those things. I just realized why, why is it so easy? It's not willpower. You don't get 360 pounds and are morbidly obese slash obese for your entire adulthood except I think like a brief six months in my life. You don't get that if you have good willpower, right? My middle sister, cause I'm the youngest, she, she's excellent willpower. She has so much more willpower than I do. And it's the only reason that she has stayed thin because she does binge like I do as well, but she exercises and she has enough control to do those things. Anyways, the answer is because I have no other choice probably think, yeah, but Amanda, you do have a choice. You go get it. But I really don't. It's like being in a maze and you get to the end of a pathway and you can go left. 
and there's a wall to your right. Like your only option is to go left. You have no option to go right. You cannot go right. There is a wall there. There might be space on the other side of the wall, but there is a wall there. I cannot make a right turn. I can only go left. And at this point with food, I have no other option but going left. Does that mean that I will never have another off carnivore thing? Of course not. I know myself, I know I will, but that no right turn is, I can never ever go back to binging. I don't even have the option available to do it. I can never go back to eating the way I was or anything remotely close to it because how sick and bad it made me feel. And that, I discovered that was a huge, it's a huge thing for me to realize that I don't have to rely on willpower because I don't even have the option. Willpower means to me that it's either you choose left or right and your willpower is you're fighting between which one, you know, like if left is the better option, then you're having to force yourself to go to the left. Even though you may want to go to the right, you have to go to the left. In my situation, I can only go left probably right on your screen. I forgot if it's backwards. If it is, my bad. I wish I could easily simply say how I got there, but I think it's been baby steps, slow mental changes, and finally it just like a puzzle piece of the perfect key fit into a lock and clicked. That now it's just like, that's not even an option. So the reason I say this is because I hope you guys can get there the small steps, the, you know, I've done all the wrong things and all the right things at different times. I have eaten off carnivore. I have beaten myself up on carnivore, especially early on about eating bad. But here I am still here. I believe next week will be hundred pounds lost eight months. It shows that it's consistency, not perfection. Sorry, that is the wind. I don't know if you guys can hear it shaking the house. It's crazy. It's consistency, not perfection. And that is what is so important. Every other diet, I've always sought out perfection, but I'm not perfect. No human's perfect. We are perfectly imperfect. So how can we hold ourselves to the standard that we're never going to achieve? Not that we shouldn't try to strive for higher and good, but never perfection. Because we are always, always going to let ourselves down. Trying to get to a goal that is not even humanly feasible to be perfect. That was the epiphany I wanted to share with you guys. And also, I had a handful of non-skill victories, I realized today. First one, uh, I can reach my hands behind my back and like interlock my fingers. I didn't even realize I did it when I did it. And it wasn't a strain. It actually felt like a good stretch for the front of my shoulders. That was amazing. And then the second one, <laughs> we waited till this evening to take the dogs for a walk, of course, in the storm and the rain. But they needed it. We're walking along and I look at my watch and it said we walked one mile and I genuinely, for the first time in my life, I can say that I looked at my watch and I said, you know, I've walked a mile. I am not a wee bit tired. Let's keep going. I just, I don't ever remember having that moment where I've walked an entire mile and then I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't feel winded. I don't feel tired. My feet, my legs, not, it, it feels fine. And of course we ended up walking almost three. I was tired by then, but that that's a huge deal for me. That is a huge deal for me because eight months ago, God, my feet used to hurt so bad walking, you know, three or four houses down the street with the walker. My feet killed me like someone was literally like trying to break the bones in my feet. And now three miles, my feet are tired, but they don't hurt. I am absolutely so proud of myself. 
I am. And you know what? I am proud of every one of you. I don't care if you've just lost five pounds or heck, you didn't lose anything, but you've been following and staying consistent. I am proud of you. This is not an easy task. Weight loss and carnivore, it is not just about the diet. That is a big factor in it. But it is about deep introspection, looking at ourselves, looking at why we got where we got, and doing, honestly, the hard work. I honestly, I feel like carnivore is the easy part. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It is being able to face our internal demons and admit where we were either wrong or where we've lied or where we've hidden truths from ourselves. That, that is the real challenge. That is the real work working on ourselves. Whoever thought that, I would have thought that. To me, it's crazy. Anyways, oh, and I want to thank every one of you for recommending the doggy chiropractor. We took Ryu yesterday and she did excellent with the vet. She was so Oh, she's just such a good girl. I was afraid she was going to try to bite her because, you know, her neck hurts so bad. She didn't do anything. Granted, she had these beef lung, dried lungs. If you have dogs, get them. She got them on Amazon and I ordered some too for her. They're kind of pricey, but I've never seen that dog almost take the tip of my finger off. But she did. She loved those things so much. Anywho chiropractor. She was amazing. We're going to go back again next week, probably for a handful more visits. Already today, I noticed she's wagging her tail more. She she has a little bit of issue in her low back as well, but that wasn't the main cause. The main cause was her front left leg. And today, we walked further than we have in a few weeks. Not much further, but we walked further than we have in the past few weeks. And she was hardly limping coming back. She seems not to be panting as much or this like rapid breathing when dogs are in pain. Like right now I'm looking at her on the floor and she's knocked out laying sleeping on the bed. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys. Annie. Yeah, Annie. Sadie. <laughs> There's Riru. She's so tired. And then we have the big, sleepy black dog, Rosie. She's not snoring right now, surprisingly. Yeah, today was great. I am feeling more motivated. Oh, and here's the other thing. I heard a quote, and I honestly cannot remember it. I, but pretty much it's like, don't rely on motivation because it always fades. And it does. I mean, when I first started carnivore, the first four to six weeks, golden, because like the whole thought I was going to die was fresh in my mind. But that fades with time. And it's okay to use the motivation, I think. I think it's excellent. However, this, this is the most important reason. Deep down inside, our why, our heart, that is what keeps us propelling forward. So, if you are watching this and you are suffering at all, you don't even honestly have to be morbidly obese. You don't even really have to be overweight. Heck, you could be underweight if you are suffering. No, there are other people out there suffering as well. No, it doesn't make your suffering better, but you're not alone. You have a community, come join us. You know, if you want support or just companionship, because honestly, making friends is very hard, especially if you have isolated yourself, especially if you don't feel worthy or less than or any of the negative emotions that come along with it. So, or you're shy, come join our Discord. The information's in the description below, but we love having new people. We do book clubs on Tuesdays and Sundays. Scott does his on Sunday mornings. We love having people 
It's a great way to get to know others and develop friendships, as well as have support from the carnivore community, whether you're keto or low carb, it doesn't really matter. We are a supportive, non-judgmental group, and if you want help, we'll be there, and if you don't, that is 100% your prerogative. No judgment from us. Also guys, don't forget, I am holding a meet up, M-E-A-T, <laughs> I make myself crack up. You guys don't even know. When I'm editing my videos, I literally make myself giggle sometimes. I'm such a nerd. I'm doing a meet up in Mount Vernon, Washington this February 25th, which is a Saturday at one o'clock. Anybody is welcome to come. I encourage, please come, especially, and you know, if you're local to the area and you want to make friends or, you know, know other carnivore people in the area, come join us. All you have to do is RSVP, tell me you're coming and have, get my confirmation email and you're golden. Um, I've already spoken with the restaurant manager because I know a lot of people are shy about this and asked if there was a way we could either trade the sides for maybe like shrimp or something or if we can just reduce the price some because carnivores aren't going to eat potatoes. And he said absolutely that we would work it out when we got there. So I've got your back. I have already asked and done the hard part and I will confirm too when I get there on the Saturday. So Saturday, February 25th, one o'clock, meet up, carnivores, woo woo. Anywho, I appreciate you so very much. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to my day and encourage me because I absolutely love hearing from you guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.